So I was just down in the river and I was hoping to photograph some water thrush and instead as I was sitting there this big beautiful maybe a teenager moose came walking towards me. Oh there's some motorcyclist. <laughs> okay and he seemed super cooperative. And so we're gonna try to make some, some film here, make some videos, and see if he sticks around. He walked about 20 feet from me, and I had to say, you know, hey buddy, you know, I don't know how you feel about this, but uh, I'm a little nervous. And then when I did that, he took the deep water for me, and he didn't make me go swimming, so I was super grateful for that. He's got long legs. That's why this guy here is so special, is that we already got pretty close together, and he really didn't have much of a problem with me. And uh, they can be pretty aggressive, but like I said, I mean, the moose that I've experienced so far here in Alaska have been like pretty, pretty shy. Yeah, pretty sweet. And I think they get a bad rap. I think they're sweet, sweet creatures. And uh, I'm about to show you just how sweet they are. I just want to say I apologize for all the sounds of the river. Uh, I don't have my microphone with me because I'm, you know, I'm out here in the backcountry, but you guys are going to have to deal with Spent half an hour setting up the shot and I almost dunked my camera and yeah all my settings were off my exposure was off and this thicket here looks like it's not gonna let us through oh well it was a really really beautiful attempt at the moose hopefully I got some good stuff for you guys but uh, little bummed just make sure when you got a moment about to happen that you check your exposure check your settings and make sure that everything is set up especially when you're shooting backlight things can get harsh real fast but amazing experience hopefully I got a little something <sighs> that was really cool so this spot is really really famous for eagles and it's also one of the kind of like more popular salmon fishing spots. And so there's a lot of eagles down on the shore. And since we missed the moose, we're gonna go see if we can't get some great shots of eagles. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. And uh, I was down here earlier and I counted about 150 eagles on one single shoreline. And so hopefully the party is still kicking and we're there in time. Oh 
windy and the eagles are here too and uh yeah the sun is about to set but in alaska that means we still got about an hour left going down. The eagles are absolutely everywhere. They're on the hillsides. They're sparring. This is what it's all about. Just incredible action and they're all here for one reason. And that reason is fish. Hundreds of people come here every single day to fish the rich waters of Alaska for halibut and salmon and they leave the carcasses along the shore here and the eagles and gulls just gather in the hundreds every single night in this just incredible spectacle and uh yeah i'm gonna share it with you it's just it's phenomenal what's happening right now Time in Alaska is coming to a close. We got about one week left. Going back up to Denali, and I got a few birds that I would just love to see and love to photograph, but we'll just have to see what happens. I have a pretty strong feeling that I'm going to be spending at least a month every single summer for the rest of my life up here. Beautiful, beautiful place.